Yeah, well, I've had my own brush with cancer. It's about seven or eight years ago now, and um, I had this little lump on my neck, and I said, ah, I'll go next week. It's not that, it's not that big a deal anyway. But I was c coming to do a, a programme in RT, and I had to go to makeup, and uh, Siobhan in makeup, who knows me pretty well, um, she said she wasn't too happy with that lump, and I said the same thing. No, it's nothing. I'll be grand. And she said, I've advised someone in the past about this, and I'm telling you now, you need to go and get that checked went for biopsy and stuff and then they realised that it was a, a tumour and that stops you in your tracks, that, that stops you thinking of the next match or the next broadcast. My father had prostate cancer and yeah, it was a long time ago and it was at a time when, you know, cancer wasn't spoken of. It was like, you know, it was, it was too big a deal, it was, it was too scary. Cancer was a killer. Simple as, you got cancer, you died. It was the big C, don't talk about it. Don't tell anybody. I remember I had just started my first year in, in UCC uh, when my dad, who had been sick, was brought to the Mercy Hospital. I remember bursting through the doors and I was running up the stairs, hoping to see my dad for the last time. And uh, the security man tried to stop me. And uh, my uncle behind said, it's okay, his father just died. And I didn't know that. I thought I was going down to see my dad for the last time and say goodbye to him, and it uh, didn't happen. And it really was uh, such a long time ago, and it's, it's, it's actually really tough. Prostate cancer took my dad away, and it doesn't have to take people away. It, it, it's so eminently curable. It's easy to deal with, like, like lots of cancers now and I think people should just get their heads around that. It's, it's the long term you have to think about. You have to think of your health, not for tonight, next week or next month, but for the years ahead. So that, you know, hopefully, and this is men, this is for men, you know, you can live a much, you can expect to live a much longer life than your predecessors, than your father or your grandfather. And thankfully for me, with Siobhan in makeup, I listened to her. She, <laughs> she made me listen to her. She scared the life out of me. And uh, she made me go. And, you know, thankfully, I'm, I'm through that, as I say, seven or eight years later. Um, you know, it was, it was a terrifying time. I'm still scared of cancer, uh, but I'm still happy to stand up to cancer and look it straight in the eye and go, F you, cancer. <laughs>